Yeah, and Jackie, you know, the site just opened a few days ago, but with the Johnson & Johnson pause, there were no vaccinations here today. Now doctors are trying to figure out the risks and also shifting their approach. We need more investigation. It wasn't the kind of news Dr. Stephen McKenzie expected to wake up to. The hematologist at Jefferson Hospital is an expert on blood and has seen his share of clots over the years. Having low platelets and a blood clot at the same time is very uncommon. That combination is not really seen in general. Dr. Morgan Hutchinson runs mobile testing clinics in the city, hoping to move to vaccination soon. She was excited about J&J. &J. We could offer it to patients, especially people who, you know, are frontline workers and need to be at work. Um, so it's unclear how long it'll be on hold. And Dr. Anthony Fauci, well, he's not speculating on when or if the vaccinations should resume. People say, what does the pause mean? It really allows both the FDA and the CDC to further investigate these cases to try and understand uh, some of the mechanisms of what it is. Appointments for J&J &J shots were canceled across our area this morning. The city's health commissioner called this a small setback, saying he's not aware of any complications here. It is possible in the wake of this publicity there will be some cases that were uncovered that were not previously recognized, but so far we don't know that. But what if you already got the shot? If you got it more than a month ago, there's been no evidence from AstraZeneca or J&J &J that you can get this complication. But if you got it within the last month, you should be aware of certain symptoms like a headache, unusual abdominal pain, swelling in your leg, or shortness of breath, in which case you should call your doctor. Right now, there's not enough information to say that it's not safe, but what we need is just more information and to be on the lookout for bad side effects. And the one thing the doctors kept repeating is that the risk of COVID is much worse than the risk of vaccination. Johnson & Johnson tonight said that it is reviewing those six cases and also pausing its COVID-19 vaccination trials, at least for the time being. Live North Philadelphia tonight, I'm Matt Delusia, NBC 10 News. It was a notification on our phones that shocked us all this morning. Matt, thank you for that report. Let's talk about how this will impact you and the rollout in each of our states. Let's start it off in New Jersey, where health officials there are modifying appointments. At Camden County College, health officials say they will switch gears to a Moderna-only operation for now and have enough to cover what would have been 1,500 J&J &J patients tomorrow and Saturday. So if you're already registered, you don't need to do anything but show up for your existing appointment appointment. Let's move on to Pennsylvania now. The state is following the federal government's recommendation and pausing the use of J&J &J through at least April 20th. Pennsylvania had reserved its initial allotment of the vaccine for educators. Most people who have been vaccinated received either Moderna or Pfizer. In Philadelphia, city health officials have pulled the Johnson & Johnson vaccine from circulation there. The city health department says more than 26,000 people got the J&J &J shot, but so far, no signs of any complications. They say there's plenty of Moderna and Pfizer doses to handle demand. With the J&J &J vaccine on pause, medical experts worry people in black and Latino communities could avoid getting vaccinated altogether. These groups are already under vaccinated in Philadelphia, and some told us they had already been nervous about getting the shot. But experts say the risks that come with COVID outweigh the risks of getting the vaccine. I have had family members express concerns, and I will always say the same things. Discussion that you should definitely have with your primary care provider and really look at the benefits versus the risk. I think it's needed. We all have to be safe, protect ourselves, protect our neighbors. The Black Doctors COVID-19 Consortium is planning a Q&A session about the J&J &J vaccine this weekend. So what should you do if you or someone in your family received the Johnson & Johnson vaccine? We have advice from the FDA and the CDC on NBC10.com and on the free NBC10 app.